Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in Colombo, specifically in Sri Lanka. And in today's video guys, we're gonna be taking the train from Candy over to, or sorry, from Colombo over to Candy. So we've already got our guy here. How much to go to the train station? Yeah. How much? We will give you uh, 500 rupees. 500? Yeah, very cheap price. All right, let's go. Thank you. Got the custom tuk-tuk ride we're gonna be taking here, guys. We got, uh, as you can see here, we've got fish chilling. And yeah, we've got our man. What's your good name? My name, Anubel. Anubel? Yes. Nice to meet you. Estuti Machang. All right, here we go, guys. We're heading over. Uh, how far is the train station? 10 minutes? Yeah. Perfect. It's pretty early guys, it's uh, about 7.55, almost 8 a.m. The train leaves at 8.30 a.m. So I've got plenty of time to make it over there. And it's a pretty nice morning overall. Sunny, like it is pretty much every day this time of year, at least in the Colombo area on the west coast of the island. Very enjoyable, you got your morning rush though. It is a Wednesday, no, today's a Thursday. Wow, time's going by quickly here. So we are heading out, here we go. Uh, today's first business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, nice. That's good. We're starting off strong then. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And you're my first person on my video, so you're first for my business. Yeah. We are not going to sell now. Candy. Candy. Yeah, you, you can go on my YouTube. No, I want to take the train. Yeah. I love trains. Yeah. So guys, we're cruising over. We got our last look over there at Port City. If you saw in an earlier video, we took you guys over there for the walking bridge and uh, check this whole area out. This is going to be the futuristic modern side of Colombo. And so it is definitely in its early stages of construction. I think that's the only structure that's been built over here so far. But the surrounding areas, as you can see, here, are very beautifully designed with the uh, lake running in between. We've got these, um, I believe, parliament style buildings right here. Got the military chilling right there. Hello, hello, Machangs. How we doing? Hello, hello there. How are you? Hello, how are you? Good, good, good. Another tourist. Hello, fellow tourist. <laughs> you are from there? I'm from the U.S. <laughs> and you, Colombo? Yeah, Colombo. Very nice city. Good people here. Yeah, yeah. Ma many Machangs here. Sorry? Many Machangs. Yeah. You know that word? Many machang. Yeah, machang, like bro. Yeah. Anytime you are very happy, you know, good. Oh, very happy in Colombo. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah, every time. Yeah, every time. Yep. All right, guys, we're getting pretty close to the old train station here. It's going to be time to hop on board and do a little choo-choo train ride. I literally am obsessed with train rides, guys. Like, it's such an enjoyable time. To just be cruising and the Sri Lankan trains are known to be some of the most beautiful train rides you can do this video is one of them but there's gonna be a future video upcoming that's going to be one of the most beautiful yet least expensive train rides in the world and that is gonna be from candy down to Ella so definitely guys if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and like this video too if you don't mind while you're at it so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos because they're gonna be a good time let's go hello Machang hello Subo Desina Machang. <laughs> we got a honk out of them. There we are, guys. That's the train station right there. We're going to be hopping off in just a minute once we swing back around. It's called Fort Railway Station here in Colombo. And that is the, basically the main train station to go to take trains all over the country. And um, last night I actually picked up my train ticket, which was 1000 for first class which is about five US dollars roughly on the bank exchange rate. Subo Desana Machang. So guys, if you don't know what Subo Desana means, that means good morning and Chang is like uh, similar to like Yar, if you've seen my videos, or Hai. It's like a friendly, uh, like, yo man, what's up bro, type thing. But I, I was told you can use it to anybody. So if I'm wrong, you guys saw in the earlier videos, I was told I could say Machang to everyone. Male, female, doesn't matter. And so far, people just laugh whenever I say it. So that's definitely a good sign. Got our Machang here, hooking it up. Thank you, brother. Good day. I good, good chance. Very, very good man. Business, first business. Yeah, you know what we like to do for uh, first business of the day? 
Yeah. We like to uh, we like to make sure that it's going to be a sign for the rest of your day. No change for yeah. me, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Thank you, thank you. Estute um, Machang. All right, here we go, guys. We are entering in the train station here. We've got our uh, we've got our bro right here. Subo Desana Machang. How are you? All right, guys, as you can see, we're at the train station. It's a busy morning here on the Thursday mornings, and we're looking for the uh, we're looking for the train we're about to hop on. It's the train from uh, Colombo here to Candy, and we are, I think, down this way. I just asked the police officer back there, and she said it's somewhere this way. I'm thinking it's probably this train right over here. Uh, let's see if this is the train here. Hello, my friends. Subo Desana Machang. Is this the train to uh, Candy? I don't know. No, you don't know? The next one. Is that the next one? Yeah, the next one. There's some local guy that helps us finding the right train. So oh, perfect. He said the next one. And the next one, all right. Yeah. So they're just probably a little late here? Yeah, we're also going to Candy. All right, sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. So guys, the thing is, is sometimes at the train station, the train decides to come at various spots over here, as you can see, pulling up. And so the nice part is most people speak English, so you can walk up to pretty much anyone and say, you know, show them your ticket and be like, you know, I'm looking to go on this, uh, this train. Can you show me like which track it is? So I think this might be the one right here. People are hopping on while moving. Look at this. This is wild. They're not going to miss it. Is this the one? Yeah, it is, yeah. Seems like based on how fast everyone's running, you gotta hop on as soon as you can. Oh, hello, my friend. This is going to Candy, yeah? Oh, sorry. Uh, where do I go to get to the first class cabin? Oh, so keep going? This way. Alright, perfect. We're gonna keep going down this. Oh yeah, we've got AC in the cabin right now. This is quite nice. Hello. Hello. And we're going down to the A cabin. All right, so we made it. Oh. <laughs> I just hopped on because it seemed like everyone was like jumping on right away. I was like, is the train about to start moving? Yeah. It's like, whoa. So guys, I believe based on my ticket, AFC A18. Looks like I'm seeing AFC over there. We've got 18, so. Pretty confident this is the seat. Easy to navigate and quite comfortable seats. All right, well, we made it on the train successfully. Rushed probably a little bit more than we needed to because as you can see, the train is still not moving. But hey, you never know. I would have felt pretty stupid if I uh, was running after the train or was walking and I uh, was watching the train go away. So that's good news. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty full ride here. Everyone's hopping aboard. We'll see if I end up having uh, anyone sitting next to me right now. No one's arrived for this seat, so we got a little extra space. I'm gonna be okay with that. So yeah, guys, basically on the train here, we've got uh, trade tables, drink holders, a little footrest down there too. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a nice, comfortable ride for sure. Screens up top there. Looks like there might even be a movie playing up there. And bad news is I got the window where we don't have a window, so uh, it's definitely not the best seat for it. It would have been better to be on one of these where you can have a direct view out, but. Yeah, that's all right. You live and you learn, right? All right, guys, and we are finally off. 8.33, so just a few minutes after the expected time. And I'd say it's probably at, like, maybe something like 70% capacity, at least in this cabin. And keep in mind, I don't know if I mentioned this, I'm in the first class cabin for about $5 to get from Colombo here over to Candy. So I don't think there's as many stops. At least this is the train that I requested yesterday. I went last night to grab my train ticket and I was told by a local here that I should get the express train because there's not as many like stops along the way so you're gonna get there quicker. And speaking of how long, I think it's about three hours to get to the city of Candy. And so we'll see how the train ride is. I think in the first class cabin, it doesn't seem like you can open up these windows. Maybe you can, but it is air conditioning. So I don't think they want you to. Um, maybe you can hang out the door here. I don't know. We'll do a little train tour once it gets a bit more outside of Colombo, especially once we get into the uh, beautiful landscapes. But we shall see. Hello, my friend. How are things? Suba Desna Machang. Suba Desna Machang. Is there a place that I can film out the window? 
is there a place that I can film out the window? No. No? Back that way? Yeah. Okay. Hey, thank you. Guys, once we uh, make it a little bit further outside of Colombo, we're still only maybe 20 minutes into the drive. Then we will, then we'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> go for a walk on the train, see what happens. But as you can see here, we're getting into some more rural areas. A lot of greenery out here for sure. Hello, my friend. Uh, where is there any train car that I can like hang out the window? No, second class. Uh, oh, the second class. So it's forward, yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you, my friend. All right, guys, we're gonna take you into the uh, second class cabin. Excuse me. And so I don't know how far away it is, but we shall figure it out. There we go. As you can see here, we're at one of the train stations right outside. It's literally exactly what I would expect here, hanging out of a train car in Sri Lanka. This is definitely the safest way. Oh yeah, there it is. People are way down there. All right, I found it. So if we go way, way down there, that's where we're going to... Yeah, when we go way, way down there to the second class cabin, that's where we'll be able to find a spot to hang out. All right, here we go. Probably got like five or six train cars we gotta go through. And once we're through all of them... All right, we're making progress here. Hello, my friend. All right, it seems like the... Uh... Hello? Well, it seems like the uh, the cabins back here are getting pretty full. See how we open this? Oh yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get out there. All right guys, so I think we're in between the uh, first class cabin and the second class cabin. Hopefully you can hear this, it's quite loud on the train. But we found a little doorway. Definitely be careful when you're doing this because the train shakes around a little bit. And you never know when you're putting your limbs out here. If there's gonna be like a telephone pole, if there's gonna be some wires, whatever it might be, or even a branch. But I believe this is uh, the two-way train track because on this side, on this side here, we've got uh, train tracks running this way. We've got some locals hanging out way down there, and not too many people are hanging out on this side. So, yeah, the thing is, it seems like if you're going in the in the uh, second-class cabin, in order to get a spot where you're going to hang out, you got to get to the train early enough and be the first one to get on. So now I think it makes sense why people were running to the train. It was probably to make sure they got a good spot. Whereas like getting back in the first class cabin area, you have an assigned seat, so you don't have to run to your spot because it's assigned for you already. So hopefully that's helpful for you, but uh, here we go. We got a little train curve coming along there. As you can see, some of the tracks get pretty close, so that's why if you are on the train and you're hanging out, I don't recommend it because it is dangerous, but uh, more dangerously if you're on this side and you're too close to the train, obviously if you got your limbs hanging out right here, that would not be good. We got some people walking on the tracks. Wow, it is loud. So I don't know how much of this you're actually capturing, guys, but uh, stay tuned. I'm sure once we're back in the first class cabin, you'll be able to hear a little bit more of it, uh, what I'm saying. Hello! Guys, it really is a uh, luscious forest out here though. As you can see out here, we've got palm trees, we've got a whole bunch of nature, and all these trees, the way they are, they're literally like in perfect rows right there. So guys, we're about probably halfway through the journey to uh, Candy here. We're about, uh, oh, got my train legs here. We're about halfway to Candy here. We've got a uh, pretty busy train, whoa. Can barely stand after hanging out of the side. <laughs> Guys, it's harder to walk on a train than it is after a couple beverages. And whoa, we are. Oh, we found another spot to hang out. Oh my god, I literally almost fell. <laughs> it's funny because like everyone can look at me when I'm walking through, and they're like, "What's wrong with this guy?" I don't blame them. Trying to walk through these cabins is hard, especially after like being on one side of the train. It'll get you for sure. All right, and here we are. Oh, oh, we're back already. There it is. All right, guys, we're gonna show you some more mountainous views out here. As you can see, we've got lots of mountains out there in the distance. Very, very beautiful. I think we're down to just one train track now, though, because we're going through some pretty tight spaces. So there must, I'm guessing there must be like significant parts of the route to Candy where there's only one track. So obviously only one train can go by at once. So this is where you gotta be extra careful when you're hanging out of the cab because we've gone in between some cliffs that have been just like, if you even have your hand like this far out, oh, like right here. We're so close to the cliffs. Whoa, we're almost touching the grass right there. You see that? 
but it's really a magical train ride just going through the prairie grass absolutely incredible oh yeah as you can see here you mind if i put the camera out brother got some beautiful shots in there thank you thank you my oh wow look at these landscapes right there guys unbelievable unbelievable now that's a good landscape, Machang. Very good. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. Guys, so we're probably about two hours into the train ride here, and this is when you want to get near the uh, window. You want to make sure you're paying attention. Because at first when you leave Colombo, there's not as much going on. You're just going through some small villages. But now is when you really get into the real beautiful sides of Sri Lanka. We can see mountains. We can see maybe 20 kilometers out when we're not going through the heavy amount of bushes and grass. And I'd say it is quite beautiful. And the nice part is, is I think this train ride is beautiful. And there's an even better one we'll be doing in a future video when we go from Dandy down to, whoa, Ella, baby, look at that. At any moment, you better watch out because you're going to be going to caves and cliffs like this. Oh, yeah. It's not guaranteed safe, but it is guaranteed fun. Picture perfect, though. Literally, I feel like I'm in some sort of movie right now. Moving through these beautiful areas, and boom. Quite beautiful, my friend, yeah? Very nice, Machang. Whoa. Here and there, we're seeing a couple homes just like buried in the villages. The train's probably going a little bit too fast for you guys to be able to pick up on it. But you get a little taste into the mountain life, what it's like. Oh yeah, see there's a couple huts right down in there. They're decent sized houses actually over there. And, but it's, it seems like it's definitely far from any like uh, main civilization. So it's really local right out here. What's the name of this uh, town? What's the name? Aduatnava. Aduata? Aduatnava. Adu. Aduatnava, okay, okay. Ah, Aduquata. Ah, very nice. And is it a big town or a little? Decent size? People are hopping off here, so it must be a decent sized stop. Oh, there it is, Kadu Ganawa. That's how we say it, all right. As you can see, it's a smaller train station than the one we left, and yeah, very nice though. So it seems like we probably stopped at these for roughly around like one minute. It's hard to tell though. I guess we can uh, keep count on this one. Yeah, I'd say it was roughly a 45 to 60 second stop, so it seems like only at the main stations are they making much longer stops, and then at the smaller ones, quick hop on, hop off, and then they keep things moving. If you do want to get beverages or something like that, or like small snacks on the train, I have seen a couple people walk by in like the last two hours, like maybe one or two uh, people total. And I'm guessing they're just locals that hop on, hop off. But it doesn't seem like there's like a official one from the train. There are bathrooms, as you can see, we've got the uh, men, women sign. I haven't actually gone in one, but I'll maybe take you in, see how they are in this area or maybe over in the first class area where I'm staying. Got some gentlemen over there working on the railroad. Good morning, good morning. Good news guys, I'm a handyman. I was able to fix that thing somehow, some way. But I guess it'll have to work. I'll see you guys later. Head back to the, uh, the cabin here. And let's do it. Oh. There we go. All right, a little easier to walk this time. That's for sure. Custom spot. As you guys can see here, we're passing through some more villages. Hello, my friends! <laughs> and it seems like we're coming across another stop here. We just had a pretty big break. We're about 10 minutes out from Candy here. That's going all the way from Colombo. So that's probably like three hours. Yeah, just roughly three hours on the express train. And then the slower train probably is like four or five hours. The slower train with more stops. Oh, no, this is the, yeah. oh, this is the normal one, yeah. not the express. Three and a half so as you guys can see, we're like almost in the exact center of the entire island. So that's a pretty cool uh, visual when you zoom out on the map and you can see that right smack dab in the middle is where we're at. So guys, we're arriving to Candy right now. I had a really nice conversation with Neil Mini, and she is originally from Candy, and she's coming back to see her family. And so it's nice to hear some recommendations from her, get to know her. And so I'm excited to be exploring Candy. Let's do it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, we have made it to Candy, and here we are. Here, it's a very large station. Once again, not as big as the one in Colombo, but definitely a, a still quite a large size. It seems like this is where a lot of people are getting off, but it sounds like that train actually takes people all the way down to Ella. So maybe it's the one that we'll be taking in a future video. And so that must be a super long ride because we have three hours now and then down to Ella and being told is about seven hours. So 
that is what you can expect we made it here though nice and early though we still have the full day it's about 11 20 a.m and the friend that i met on the uh, train she was telling me that um basically candy is more of a daytime place so that's just kind of the culture here whereas colombo you get a lot of the nightlife a lot of the things to do in the evenings so should, it's good that i arrived early so i have the full day to basically explore this place before the sun goes down and maybe there's not going to be as much to do but i'll take a stroll of course tonight we'll check the place out see what we can find in the evening and maybe there is still some fun stuff we can do at night but i don't know i'm right now i'm planning to stay for like two or three days but could be longer could be shorter still kind of like to be determined but i can tell you right now i could really go for a good old nest cafe so once i'm able to locate a nest cafe then then we will be able to get the day continued, get it started, and go from there. So we're coming into the uh, exit right here, and this looks like the way to get out of here. And all right, I'm excited to be in Candy though. It's nice to change it up from Colombo. And oh, he's got his eyes on me. What's going on, brother? Uh, I don't know where I'm going yet, so I don't know if I need a taxi. All right. So guys, it looks like here we are. We're right in the center near uh near candy lake and hey good morning my friend how are you everything's good yeah I'm okay you okay perfect uh, everything cool? everything is uh is is quite perfect for me i'm gonna have to say subo desina subo machang des <laughs> machang machang subo <laughs> yeah 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 subo desina machang yeah yeah good morning good morning <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm actually not sure where I'm going yet because I'm waiting for a hotel to get back to me on something. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I actually might just hang out at the train station because I, I am not ready to go there yet. Yeah. So guys, we just got to the train station here. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a little coffee here. Hello, good morning. Could I please have a Nescafe? Nescafe, okay. Uh, with uh, the milk, please, in it. Yeah. And then, is that a muffin right there? Yeah, this is sponge. Sweet. Sweet? All right. Let's try one of those, please. And... Oh, and, oh donuts? Donuts. Oh, I'll take a donut, please. And this is the jam. Bun. With jam. That's the good stuff? Yeah. With jam. No, I, wanna, I don't want to do too much. Just the uh, the yeah. muffin and the, the donut yeah. to start out. And then the, the Nest Cafe, please. So, guys, this is what we got going on right here. We got a donut. We want, we got a uh, fresh coffee, a little muffin. And the total was about $2.70. So, that comes out to roughly $1.30. And so, $1.30 to uh, have a nice little breakfast. Let's try out the donut. This thing looks dank. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good donuts. Very good donuts. Oh yeah. That is nice. Exactly what I needed to start off my day here in Candy. It was an early morning, guys. I had to wake up at 6.30 a.m. to make the train. And um, now we're here. We Tuk-tuks are a little loud, so you can't really hear me too well. But now we're still here in time for breakfast after taking a full half-day uh, train ride, three hours, so worked out quite well that's why i recommend taking the earlier train you just get an earlier start on your day guys now we got the uh the muffin going right now and let me tell you that is nice fluffy mm-hmm delicious and we've got something going on here what do we got going on here you can do one day for this one this page and this page mm. oh man oh you put that on my muffin <laughs> <laughs> It's not a good sales pitch covering my food. Mm. I don't think this menu has been washed either. Hopefully my immune system can power through that. Estuti mm machang. -hmm. <laughs> See you, bye. All right, my friend, how much? What? Everything's good? Yeah. Perfect, this is your tuk-tuk? Yep. How much are we uh, charging to go to? What is this? Paper. What? Paper. Oh, <laughs> special new look. There we go. That's pretty sweet. New glasses style. Yeah, yep. You guys see the uh, paper stuck there? Just got I it out. Uh -huh, it's a new style. <laughs> All right, we're going to a place called Theva Residency. Yeah, okay. You know? Yep. yep. How much is the ride? 500 rupees. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Now, what are you All right, guys, we are en route. Had a nice coffee. Actually, I had a second coffee while I was yeah. hanging out there. Hung out there the last like two hours or so. And 
just kind of relaxed because the uh, hotel check-in is going to be at one so that is where we are heading now ah uh, yeah very nice up top when you go you can see the nice city oh yeah you yeah. can climb in here border. ah nice oh they got flags for sale over there Oh, it's a busy day here in Kandy, yep. and the funny part, guys, when you think about it, Max Candy in Kandy, Sri Lanka. So that's pretty funny. My last name's Candy, if you didn't know. The good news is, when I got a uh, SIM card back when I first arrived to Colombo, I got the 60 gigabyte package, and so far, like the entire train ride, besides obviously like going through tunnels, had a good three or four G service, almost four G the whole time. And now I'm in Kandy. Obviously like very far from Colombo, two, 300 kilometers away, and I have 4G right now also. So the, that's great news. You can travel around with the same SIM card. Cause I've been to some countries where when you go to different areas in the country, you have to change SIM cards. And so, yeah, pretty good deal. I think I paid like 16 bucks for 60 gigs. So, wait, quite a nice deal. Candy Hospital? Candy Hospital, yeah. Oh, wow, very nice. Alright guys, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end today's video, doing the train ride all the way over here to Candy. I had such a nice time, hope you guys enjoyed coming on the journey with me, showing you what it's like. If I were you, I would sit in the second class, the third class seems a little too crowded, the first class, I guess if you want AC, but like the windows aren't open, I feel like you got more, like, more of a locals feel if you go in the second class area, and it's a couple dollars cheaper too. And then you have the doors that are open. But once again, if you are doing like gonna look out the doors, be super, super careful. Like, I mean, you're hanging out of a train at any moment, like rocks come, caves come, like it's very dangerous. So just know that like I had my eye out the whole time. Anytime I would just slightly peek out, not too far, not my whole head out. And if it looks safe, then I would quickly get the shot and then I'd bring my camera back in. Obviously some of the angles you can't tell because it looks like I had my camera far out, but actually the GoPro allowed me to get really wide angles without putting my hand out too far. So just, of course, be really careful whenever um, you're doing that on the train. I don't recommend it unless you feel safe and comfortable doing it on your own terms and it's in a safe area, then, you know, obviously do it at your own risk. But um, I got to put that disclaimer in, guys, because it is for sure dangerous. I mean, it's a moving object going really fast and um, it can be scary. So anyways, really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos both here in Sri Lanka and all around the world, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And if you've enjoyed this one, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.